So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape version 48 to create a very simple silhouette style logo using pictures of both a cat and a dog, uh, styled in such a way so that uh, the, the, the dog makes up the negative space of the heart, whereas the cat is both uh, the object, is both the subject of the graphic, as well as being part of the negative space of the dog, if that makes any sense. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll open up a new open up a new document. First thing we'll do, open up the Align Distribute menu. Make sure you have Less Selected chosen. Then we'll come over here to the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke. We'll click on that to open that up. And then we'll go to File, Document Properties, and uncheck those two boxes and close that out. Then we'll go to View, make sure you have Custom Selected, and then we'll go to Zoom and Zoom in one-to-one. And the first thing we'll do is we'll come over here to the Bezier pen. We'll click on that. And we're going to bring the cursor down towards the lower third of the screen, somewhere down here. We're going to create our heart first. So this is how we do that. Go ahead and click once like that. And then hold your control key on your keyboard and just drag that line straight up to about there. Click and then let go of the control key and just bring this line back to the starting point And click, just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the uh, Edit Paths by Nodes button. We're going to click on that. And we're going to click on this line and just drag it out to about here. Now let's click on this, uh, this node right here to bring up these handles. And let's, let's just uh, drag these around to try to make this the shape of a heart. You want to get something like this. Once you get here, come on this line right here. Bring the cursor right above it and double click on it to create a new node. And we're gonna bring that out. That's gonna help us create the heart a little bit better. So you may have to play around with this a little bit. This is supposed to be only half of a heart. So just to give you an idea of what you should try to be creating, try to eyeball it yourself. And once, once it looks enough to you like half of a heart, we can continue. So I think that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna leave that just how it is. What we can do now is we come over to back to our arrow over here and we'll turn this uh, red and then come over here to stroke paint, click on that. And we're gonna turn that off with that X button right there. And then we'll come over to opacity and we'll just slide this in half. What we'll do next is we'll right click on this and go to duplicate and then come up here to where it says flip selected objects horizontally. Let's click that. And then let's click and drag over both of them and come over here to this button on the far left that says Al align right edges of objects to the left edge of the anchor. We're going to click that. And then we can go to path union. And as you can see, we now have our heart. So the next step is to create the cat and the dog. And I've included links in the descriptions to where you can get the images I'm about to reference. Go to those links and download the image, save it into a folder where you can easily access it. And once you've done that, come up here to File and go to Import and go ahead and import that image. I'm going to import the image of the dog first. It's going to ask you if you want to link or embed it. You're going to want to embed it. Click OK. And let's drag this out of the way of the heart. Let's bring this over here so we can work with it. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to this magnifying glass. And we're going to zoom in right down here around the neck, this portion of the neck where the collar is. We might want to zoom out a little bit. You can use the plus and minus keys on your keyboard to zoom in and out as you do this. Okay, but we want to get a view kind of like this. And we're going to come over to the Bezier pen. And what we're going to do is we're just going to trace along the edges of the dog. We're going to draw an outline going around the edges of the dog just to create a silhouette. So what you can do is you just start down here, click once, click, 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 and I'm, I'm going to do this in a, in a method that's very rudimentary just for the sake of, uh, you know, keeping this simple for beginners and for time as well. If I were to go about this in a more uh, detailed and meticulous way, it would take a very long time. So I'm just going to show you the basics here today. So just go around the, around the edges of the dog and just go ahead and click on each point to create the silhouette of the dog in this image, as you can see like I'm doing. And you don't have to go over fine details like little individual hairs and, and eyelashes and stuff like that, or whiskers, eyebrows. You can just keep this very uh, rudimentary. 
This is a logo after all, and logos should be simple and scalable to small sizes. Okay, and I'll just bring this. This gets a little tricky down here. Normally I would go and draw over each and every one of these segments of hair individually, but I'm just going to skip that today. You can do that if you'd like. And I'll bring this down here. I'm going to bring it over here to the starting point and connect it together. And if you press 1 on your keyboard, it'll zoom out. You can see it, it drew an outline around the dog. So I'm going to turn that blue. Come over here to where it says Stroke Paint. Let's turn that off. And let's bring the opacity in half. And let's take this image of the dog. Let's click on that, drag it out of the way, and press Delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. Now, as you can see, the edges here are very rough. They're like sharp corners. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, with this selected, with this uh, silhouette selected, come over here and click on Edit Paths by Nodes. And we're going to go over each of these nodes, except for the corners. We're going to go over each of these nodes like this and turn them smooth. With this button right here, it says Make Selected Nodes Auto Smooth. I'm going to click that and watch what happens to the, the nodes I selected. It smoothens them out. And I'm going to do that over here to this one as well. We're not going to do them to the ones in the corners because on the corners, this will happen and it'll mess the whole image up and we don't want that. So, so just ignore, ignore doing this for the corners. Just go around here. I'd say grab these nodes right here. Let's make them smooth. Let's take this one right here, make that smooth. I'm going to leave that one as it is. Is that supposed to be the crease where the, uh, between the mouth, where the upper and lower lips are? I'm going to take these, all these nodes right here, I'm going to make them smooth. Grab these ones as well. Make them smooth. Make them smooth. I'll leave, the, I'll leave this one how it is, since that's a corner. I'll grab these, make them smooth. I'll actually leave that one just how it is. Is that supposed to be a corner like where the ear and the head separate? Well, not separate, but where, you know, where they separate in the image. Make them smooth. Click over these two, I'll make them smooth. And then grab these last ones down here without clicking that corner one. Make them smooth. Now I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out. And you can see, if you go back to the arrow, it's a lot smoother now. It could be better, but like I said, this is a very rudimentary uh, style I'm going over here. So what we're going to do now is we shrink this down. Just hold Control and Shift, shrink it down about that much. And let's uh, go back over to this heart. Let's put it over there for now. We're going to come back to that in a few minutes. Next, we're going to grab the image of the cat and do the same thing. So we're going to go to File, Import, take that cat image, open it, embed it. There it is. And let's actually flip this horizontally with that button right there, because this is how it's going to be positioned. And again, we'll take our magnifying glass, we'll zoom in at the bottom right here, we'll grab our Bezier pen, and we'll just start outlining the cat. Let me scroll over here to, so I can see what I'm doing. Sometimes it'll be a little tricky to do this because you won't really see a clear, um, like a clear line between the object and the background. Just try to estimate it, you know. The goal here is to draw a silhouette that looks like a cat's head. And if you if you do it even poorly, in a lot of instances, it could look a lot like what it was meant to look like. Let me scroll back over here. Once you get down here, just bring this line all the way down to the bottom, click there, and then connect it back to the starting point. And let's press 1 to zoom out. We'll turn that green. We'll turn the stroke off. Make the opacity uh, 50%, somewhere in the 50s. We'll go back to our arrow. Let's click on that. Let's take this cat image and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. We're done with that. And what we're going to do now is what we did with the dog image. Let's click on it and go to Edit Paths by Nodes. You zoom in a little bit by pressing the plus key. 
Let's just go ahead and smooth them out. Not by missed one. grab all of those okay let's grab all of these smooth that out now what happened there oh, that's all right um, let me try let's see if this works I'll grab all of these up top here see if that works yeah that works and then I'll grab these two right here I'm not gonna do that with the with this one right here because that's a corner and that's a corner grab all of these up here smooth them out smooth that one out as well. we'll go and grab these ones and then that should be it for this and we can go back to our arrow and as you can see we have a cat head so let's bring this over here and let's take this dog head and let's move it on top of the heart like this I'm actually going to shrink this down a little bit because his mouth is a little too close to the edge for my liking. So I'm going to shrink it down about that much. That's a good size right there. As you can see, the graphic ends before leaving the heart, which is, uh, we don't want that happening. So I'm actually going to go to the Bezier pen. I'm going to turn on snap to cusp nodes, and I'm going to snap the cursor onto that corner right there. And I'm just going to, con I'm just going to continue that line as if it were still a part of the dog's uh, neck or body. And then just connect it to the beginning like that. Let's turn that off. Let's go back to the arrow. Hold While holding shift, click on the dog head. So you have them both selected. The, the object you just drew and the dog head will go to path, union, just like that. Now let's grab our cat image. And let's hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag one of these corners to shrink it down. You want to get the cat image right about maybe a little smaller. Control and shift to scale it down. You want to get it right about hmm, now nah, maybe a little smaller. Yeah, I'd say that works right there. We'll do something like that. Now let's go back to the Bezier pen. As you can see here, the cat's neck, it just ends abruptly like that. That's not gonna make for a very nice graphic. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna go to the Bezier pen. We're gonna turn the snap to cusp nodes back on. Snap the corner back onto the, uh, snap the cursor onto the corner right there. Click and just draw, continue to draw the line as if it was the continuation of the cat's body. Just try to estimate it. And then connect it back to the beginning. Let's turn the snap to cusp nodes off. Let's go to our arrow and hold shift in the keyboard and click on the cat. And let's go to path union. And what we're going to do next is we're going to hold shift in the keyboard and then click on the dog. So you have both the cat and the dog selected. And we're going to go to path difference. And then while holding shift, let's click on the heart. When with them both selected, we'll go to path difference. And as you can see, we've created a, a little logo here with the heart, with the silhouettes of a cat and a dog playing on the negative space. So uh, this is a concept that could be used many different ways in, in, in graphic design and in logos and whatnot. So um, if you have any questions, just let me know. And thank you for watching.